I think the most devious thing you could have done to me was give all of yourself so I could hold it and then have it ripped away. And you know, it's funny now that I think about it, how you took the tops of my hands in your palms and curled my fingers around a pot full of wilted flowers and told me I had a green thumb that sweetened the stringent soil. I thought that love took a bit of withering, so I took the chance on emptying a bit of myself because isn't that vulnerability? Isn't that sugar water in a hummingbird's canister I placed that place so that they might triumph any discord with the harmony of their beating wings in ways I would hope I could give you what you tried to teach me to give you because you said it and my liveliness was infectious. But all I did was give you a bigger pot to spread your roots with, I guess, because sugar, sugar water gave you a lot more than those damn hummingbirds you didn't deserve. And I told you of my uncertainty, and you wrapped my arms around you tighter because I let you, because all I needed was honesty. But I wish it was with a little more time and a lot less conviction for you to have ever planted yourself before me and me to have ever been so stupid. I should have known a thorned rose sitting in her throne, rose only to paint herself red by the prick of a finger, and you, and you lathered your ruby lips with my hope. And if not for me, it was for him the whole time, and oh, isn't that what scares me? That the next time I reach out and hesitate, I will never know if it's intuition or just the normalcy of nervousness and knowing my own petals vibrance again. And that love is an investment. But I don't regret how costly it was. Because I know that when the winters come, I'll find peace in my commitment when, with someone else, we'll build a greenhouse together so one isn't left to the raging season while the other drips red with contentment. And I get that closing, chasing after people is kind of your thing. So when you come back, I hope you can watch us, someone else, and I course with brilliance of the hummingbird's nectar, not out of spite, but so you might stop what it is you do to others and yourself. I meant it when I said I hope the best for you, but that will be the last of me that is smothered on your lips and on him. You see, my vineyards will raise their hands to the sun so that the heavens might change their wine to water and they will restore themselves. So don't ever think that they were hung up on you.